Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 14th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of sun imagery, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide. We did have quite the plasma shot take off from the top right-hand side in the early images, but no major solar flares to talk about. Moderate C-class at best. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. Plasma filament dancing on the surface there. Northern Hemisphere, which is the right-hand side. And as well, a couple bright, fiery, not quite sunspot regions turning in. There's that plasma shot that I was talking about. That was in an outgoing position. Created a fast, accelerated CME. We now have five sunspots that are out going. Here's that large plasma shot. Luckily, that was not in an Earth facing direction. Having a look at multi spectrum of the last 48 hours of events. Outgoing, and as well, that fast forming sunspot in the southern hemisphere of the sun. And as well, elongated coronal holes to talk about. And as well, equatorial coronal hole building in the last few images cresting in amazing images here thank you all for watching today i hope you enjoy the updates sorry i was not able to produce the last couple days but we are back having a look 171 angstroms we still only have five sunspot regions and they're all outgoing but definitely watching these two bright regions cresting in Notable top left-hand side, that plasma filament, it looked like there was a solar tornado wrapped up in it as it was cresting over. Amazing images. Current space weather conditions, we are under none right now. Current solar winds are coming in at six or 362 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing a couple moderate C-class solar flares today. See nothing major to report the last two days. Solar proton flux is going down and has been down for the last two days. Geomagnetic activity on the 13th, which was expected and predicted, hopped up to a KP5, but only for an hour. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, there's that CME that took off from that plasma shot right at Venus. Amazing. Showing all space weather predictions here. This one here with the Space Weather Prediction Center. Going into the 16th. Little green dot is our planet Earth. Having a look at LASCO 2, the last two days of imagery. There's that CME taking off on the 12th. And then you can just see everything. The view just kind of gets busy for a while. Definitely some incoming space weather. We're going to slow it down because it was, you could almost see a meteor or something go flying by. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching these amazing images brought to you by NASA and Soho. There's that little meteorite. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours, as that's been pretty quiet too. Under 200 earthquakes, largest being a 6.1 here though. South Indian Ocean, pretty rare place for such a large magnitude earthquake. 4.9 reported there in Yumba, Uganda. As well a 4.4 here in Monte Parlo, Italy, north of Etna which erupted yesterday in an enormous fashion. 4.9 there reported south of Africa, and as well 4.9 South Sandwich Islands. Pretty sizable 5.9 earthquake here. Papua New Guinea, lots of aftershocks in and around the epicenter, especially northeast. And then our deepest earthquake today, 521 kilometer depth south of Fiji Islands, 4.6 magnitude. Notable though, 5.4 magnitude south of the Kermadec Islands. 
Largest earthquake across Hawaii, 3.2 magnitude, Pahala. And then right across the Aleutian Islands, seeing fours and lots of minor activity moving into Anchorage and northward. Looking across the the United States, nothing major to talk about, no major swarms. 2.6 there, Oklahoma, largest being a 3.2 Northern California. Way too quiet, Caribbean plate. Way too quiet, South American plate. Something's got to give here soon. Etna did help release some energy, and I think that's why we haven't seen an eruption in Iceland just yet. But having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world, a lot of activity. Iceland, not much activity. South American plate into central. West Pacific Plate has seen lots of energy. This is the last seven days for earthquakes, folks. Stay safe out there. If you're in an earthquake-prone zone, stay aware and prepared. Be ready. Now let's get to weather here, and as well, the most recent volcanoes getting updated. We've got Ibu in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador, 175 active hazards right now. A lot of floods. Pop, uh, Popocatetl in Mexico. Dekono in Indonesia. Suez and Ajima in Japan. It's about eight in the last eight hours. Semeru, Indonesia, as well. Fuego, Guatemala. Notable on the SO2 map. Having a look at satellite imagery over North and South America. Some pretty big systems affecting both North America and South America right now, especially through Argentina. One tropical cyclone, tropical cyclone Mal is alive north of Fiji right now and heading southward. Not expected to reach New Zealand. But you guys will be affected by some interesting lows coming off the Australian continent. Interesting system developing through the South Indian Ocean as well. Most likely will be producing a cyclone up into Myanmar and parts of eastern India. And the big low pressure systems keep bringing in waves of moisture here through Europe. Now let's get to the air quality. Brought to you by our volcanoes. Things are clearing out. High pressure ridge through North America. But volcanoes in Central America. Producing a little bit more. And then overlooking Australia. Southeast Asia and Russia. Big SO2 cloud coming out of Russia. And that looks like it was northward of the Black Sea. I don't know what happened. But uh, definitely showing a big plume. Coming out of the Ukrainian area. Plume coming off of Mount Etna, and as well near Miragira and near Mong near Mongongo in Africa. Now let's get to weather here for overlooking Europe and as well Africa. North Atlantic, big low pressure system there, lots of moisture wrapped up, and that's going to head straight northward, affecting the United Kingdom in the long range, and then a big mess of a system here. And it could still produce a large superstorm for North America. But watch for these low pressure systems to join forces and possibly create a central hurricane in the Atlantic in the long range forecast. Overlooking North America. Extreme weather moving through the Gulf states over the next few days and then across Florida. Low pressure system lingers off the coast for California, bringing in waves of moisture. Alberta Clipper moves in this week, and as well, a strong system for the Atlantic provinces, and big, windy, rainy, snowy system moving up into northern BC and Alaska, and then another one moves in in the long range. Big Colorado low developing, could see some heavy snowfall amounts through the Pacific Northwest in the long range. 
here is Tropical Cyclone Mal, and as well the system moving up into the Myanmar area. Could be a Category 1 or 2, but it's not a named system yet. Overlooking Australia, multiple low-pressure systems locked and loaded, and they seem to be thrown southeastward towards New Zealand in this long range. But the big system this week will be an interesting low moving through the Mediterranean, heading to the war-torn region of Ukraine, and as well Turkey, and all of Eastern Europe. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show today. Hope you found it informative. Please share. Give a big old thumbs up. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.